Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Looks like the new uh, MATLAB R or release 2014A is coming out or is out. Um, I just want to go over some of the highlights with it. Uh, specifically, as you can tell, there are some highlights specific for financial uh, in these uh, toolboxes as well as I'm going to go over in two segments, uh, the core MATLAB as well as some of the HDL and some other stuff. So let's move over to the ECA econometrics. Now I'm only going to be focusing obviously on the financial, but there's some interesting things here. Uh, Kalman filter uh, is very important, so now it has the ability to skip over uh, missing data. Uh, I'm right now working with Garch models, and we'll be at some point working with Arima, so there's some uh, performance uh, notes here. And uh, here's some of the other areas. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into detail of it, but uh, don't think it's anything major. But, uh, you know, those are the highlights. Um, also, we have financial instrument uh, toolbox as well. Some enhancements been in, included here. Um, swap options, cap floor enhancements, uh, Monte Carlo analytical pricing with loop loop back uh, look back option. That's pretty nice. Um, implied black volatility. The SABR mostly it looks like options. More of the um, options and, and fixed income kind of stuff uh, but nothing earth shattering here OTC enhancements uh, credit exposure more institutional stuff I'd hate to say um yeah the swing option pricing example looks interesting um, new example of pricing in the long so, I don't know, but uh, interesting there. Um, here's one of our more favorite uh, toolboxes that we like to use or will be using. System Identification Toolbox. Not much uh, to list here, I don't think, that is um, woo ah that uh, really makes it easier. Um, but on the other hand, I really played with it a long time. But this one might be of uh, some interest with Simulink integration. Single uh, input, single output plants from simulation data when tuning a PID controller blocks using Simulink control design. So that, that might be something pretty good. And then uh, space uh, model, state space model estimator for improving accuracy on short nosy data sets. Well, that's pretty well the markets there for you right there. Uh, plot command, um, some other stuff as well. So that looks pretty cool. Um, what else? Oh, our favorite. We love this one. A lot of people don't know about this one. The production server. Um, not going to get into it too detail, but if you're into the easiest way to integrate anything with MATLAB scripts is probably using the MATLAB production server. But um, obviously it's enhanced with the API uh, I guess it's called Dynamic Invocation API integration with databases and third-party applications. That looks pretty interesting. HTTPS uh, for secure communications. Pretty cool. And they've also included embedded SSL certification. That's pretty cool. Um, just more enhanced security, I guess, for the production server. That, that's a really neat product. Um, I think we've already covered the uh, Econometrics Toolbox. Um, but uh, I'm not going to get too much into it. Uh, but there looks like some enhancements in the uh, Garch uh, stuff here. Um, maybe some new functions as well. Some new examples. Um, this is powerful stuff right here for the econometrics. Uh, oh, and let's move over to our uh, HDL. Okay, HDL, high, Hardware Description Language. Um, 
Now this is really meant uh, coming out of the um, Simulink uh, area for um, cogeneration uh, for FPGA, for high frequency trading uh, boards. That's what it's really meant for us, it's for absolute lowest latency. I've, I've gone on about it for a while, uh, but uh, here's some of the enhancements that don't mean a whole lot to me at this point. Um, FFT, HDL, optimized, anything optimized looks good. HDL blocks and Simulink, that says something right there, that they have a special uh, block for Simulink. Uh, iterative uh, clock frequency optimization. Uh, Cogeneration for enumerator data types. Interesting. Uh, and then the verifier. Now I did see something here that looked pretty cool. FPGA in the loop. Oh, with the Altera FPGA. So that's one of the major board manufacturers for Altera. Um, all those other TLM and blah blah blah. A little too adv uh, advanced for my. Uh, knowledge at this point but there are some enhancements there I'll do another video on Simulink and let you know what I think of that alrighty uh, here we are in the Simulink enhancements for 2014A of MATLAB there's been some um, not major upgrades uh, not that I could see uh, but uh, the ones that jump out at me, uh, they're still pushing the new editor, which is a lot more enhanced than previous versions of Simulink. Um, this one I kind of like. Support for native OS gestures, pinch and zoom, uh, panning, that's pretty good. Um, let's try to think. Oh, also here, single model workflow for algorithm partitioning and targeted multi-core processors in FPGA. Again, FPGA for uh, high frequency trading type of purposes, which it usually is. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, good enhancements here. Of course, uh, branching support with Git control. Um, let's see what else there is. Uh, nothing jumps out at you is typical um, hardware stuff uh, it's interesting you know if you want to do uh, Lego Mindstorms Galaxy Android uh, from Samsung so I guess it's pretty cool if that's your thing <laughs> enough for financial okay for the state flow um, single chart uh, block and state flow library with MATLAB as the default language Bus signal logging in charts, that's pretty 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 handy, I guess. Uh, nothing else that really jumps out at me. Um, the real time uh, real time of Simulink, single model workflow for pr processing of FPGA targeting. Uh, this one I like. Ethernet protocol support. Um, that's pretty well I can really come out with that's really uh, different. Um, report generator, uh, nothing new here that really again jumps out at me. Um, but uh, nothing major here, I don't think. But there's some nice hat to haves, I guess you could say. Um, but of course, uh, the new Simulink editor is probably the big one, but that's already been upgraded as of uh, 2013B. Just want to let you know. Hopefully, I'll be out.